Over the years, I've been making a lot of videos covering the hoaxes and saps in the media. What you see on TV is nothing more than a movie, all part of their agenda, divide and conquer, hate, fear, all this equals control. Dividing us is the main weapon that the so-called elite keeps the eyes off them. Now just take a look at this photo of the supposed assassination of Martin Luther King in Memphis, Tennessee. Just look at this photo alone. It, it looks fabricated because that's what it is. You see Martin Luther King on the ground. His leg is up. Three people pointing. This is obviously a staged photo. And three people pointing at the same time. At the supposed where the shooter was located. And you see these people casually. They're just milling around, standing around here at the bottom. It just doesn't add up. These people act like they're in panic. In panic mode, trying to point out someone on top of the building. You know, in a real life situation... You know, if a shooting just occurred, you'd be ducking for cover. You don't know what's taking place, if there's another shooter, or what's going on. I'm right, just taking a closer look at the three pointing up towards the rooftop. To me, three people pointing, it's almost like three sevens. I don't really cover this much with a seven, seven, seven. Definitely occultic. And here's a classic case of it right here. And you, th you see Martin Luther King on the ground. You see a guy looking up, just his leg up like this, just doesn't pass a smell test for me. Body be completely limp on the ground, not like this. This is someone that's still alive. Taking a closer look here. Again, at this image here, you can see these people again. I suppose a dramatic incident happening. These people look pretty casual down here. It's just standing around, they look pretty casual like I said. You have these three pointing up towards the roof of the building. And who are they instructing? There's cops down here walking around again. So who are they pointing to? Who, who are they instructing at what's taking place? Just doesn't add up, doesn't pass the smell test. Now let's take a look at this photo after they supposedly removed Martin Luther King's body. And what's this guy doing here with the jar? He looks like he has a scraper in his hand. No gloves, just... Doesn't seem right, because it's not right. You have a guy here, and it looks like he's sweeping up blood. What is the deal with this? You've got the door number 306. you got 666 coded. This image here, supposedly Martin Luther King's luggage, or his briefcase with his clothes, shaving cream. And then he was at the hotel a day before. He never took his clothes out. Doesn't add up. Now, this is the night of the supposed murder, assassination of Martin Luther King. Look at all these people in this room. Let's get a little bit of a close-up and look at the faces. Does it look like these people are too distressed? Get more of a close-up. This guy's almost smirking here. What's the deal with that? Another one, another close-up here. Just doesn't look right. Just another stage photo. Of course, you can't make fake look real. That's what they try to do, but it never passes the smell test again. Of course, the supposed last speech you ever gave was that a Mason temple. This is all symbolic with Freemasonry. Now, let's take a look at this video with Martin Luther King's wife and children. I've mentioned it many for the duping the light, and that's all you see here. There's nothing new under the sun. It's more of the same what you see in the media today, taking place many years ago. Just take a look at this video. It's unbelievable, the reactions with the family. Mrs. King, I wonder if you would introduce your family to us. This is Dexter Scott. And how old are you, Dexter? Seven. Now... See them all smiling. Well, this fellow over here... This is Martin Luther III. We call him Marty. And how old are you, Marty? I'm 11 years old. I imagine, of course, that you bear your name with great pride, your father's name. But uh, are there any... Serious duping delight taking place. These kids did not lose their father. Again, how obvious can it be? You know, after you know, less than a year of losing your father, and all you're going to see, again, is more smiling, more smirking. Just unbelievable. In a real-life situation, you leave these kids alone, you wouldn't have them on camera. Complete joke. 
ever any difficulties because you are Martin Luther King? Well, sometimes uh, there are difficulties, but most of the times they aren't. Because, well, I guess they, well, most of the times there aren't any difficulties, but sometimes they are. What, what kind of thing? Well, like sometimes people tell me, ask me my father's name, and sometimes they tease me about my name and things like that. Mm -hmm. But mostly? Mostly they, most, most of the time nobody teases me anything. Mm -hmm. Have you decided what you're going to do when you grow up? I want to be a preacher like my father. You do? And? Yeah. Losing your father uh, doesn't seem so traumatic. Doesn't seem so heart-wrenching on TV. Why is that? Because again, you watch TV, from Sandy Hook to the Boston bombing, and you see stuff like this. You know, people believe people believe what they see on TV. They don't question anything. When they see this, to them it becomes normal behavior, which is not. This is Bunny. Yes. And what are you expecting for Christmas, Bunny? A bicycle. Mm -hmm. A horn. Mm -hmm. A doll. To your left is Yolanda. Yolanda Denise. We call her Yoki. How old are you, Yoki? I'm 13. And where do you go to school and what grade are you in? I go to Grady High School and I'm in the ninth grade. Again, you know, all the kids smiling, nobody in tears, talking about their father. Again, this is just months after the supposed killing of their father. They're dragging him on TV just to pull the heartstrings to keep the hate alive. A lot of blacks will be watching this just pouring anger over the supposed murder of their leader. How obvious can it be for those that are awake? Again, this is nothing but a hoax. And as much as you're 13, you're the oldest one in the family. Do you have uh, special responsibilities? Well, uh, since I'm the oldest and all, I have to watch after Marty and Dexter and Bunny, and they aren't really that much trouble. And when Mother goes out of town, we have to, I have to look after them. And... It's it's not really that much to do. They're kind of independent. I must say they are a handsome and healthy and pretty happy-looking bunch of children. Yeah, no kidding. They look happy because they know their dad is still alive and well. I'm not saying Martin Luther King is still alive today, but he definitely did not die on April 4, 1968. And Yogi especially. I imagine that she must have been a real consolation at the at the time of the tragedy. Yes, she was, uh, Mike. Um, she was really so much of a consolation to me because of the way she accepted this. Um, with so much understanding and so much courage, and and it was so reassuring to me when she said to me, Mommy, I'm not going to cry because my dad is not dead. He may be dead physically. My dad is not dead. They're even mocking the viewers with this. Give me a break. And one day, I'm going to see him again. And she said, Mommy, you are such a brave and strong lady. I don't know what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Mommy, should I hate the man who killed my dad in? And I said, no, darling. Daddy wouldn't want you to do that. And, of course, I also said to her, you are so brave, and I'm so proud of you. And I put my arms around her. And, of course, she didn't cry very and of course she didn't cry very much wow how people you know they buy these news stories if it's in the news it must be true this woman here not a good actress you cannot fake real you know, a lot of people watch this over the years you know and they hear in the news oh it must be real why would they lie about this it's the divine and conquer method keeping us all fighting and it keeps the eyes off those that rule this world 
order out of chaos. That's how they do it. They want the whites fighting the blacks, the rich versus poor, men versus women, Democrats versus Republicans, Christian versus Muslim. Again, it's simply the divide and conquer method. Talking about divide and conquer, I've covered this many times in previous videos. With the O.J. Simpson trial, which was nothing more than a hoax. O.J. did not kill anybody. Let's take a look at the numbers. and Again, I'll show the Freemasonic Order Out of Chaos logo with the 33. As I mentioned so many times, they have those 33s in plain sight with all the hoaxes and psyops. Let's, let's take a look here. Again, at the TV show that will be coming out February 2nd. Just interesting enough, February 2nd is exactly 33 days after the new year. Start of the new year. Again, more numbers with 33. You get OJ itself. OJ is orange juice, which orange is 33. The name Simpson itself is 33. Let's take a look at that. You see orange is 33 in numerology. And Simpson is also 33. So basically his nickname, OJ, and his last name, Simpson, they're both 33. Now the Goldman family supposedly they sued OJ for 33 million. Then, of course, more recently, with O.J. supposedly stealing back his own merchandise in Las Vegas, he was sentenced to 33 years in prison. What a complete joke. Just more occult with the white bronco. The white bronco represents the white horse from the Bible. And let's take a look at the license plate. Very interesting enough. You get the three and the three start to finish. Let me get more of a close-up. Let's see. Get a better look at it. It says 3 D H Y, which of course is die. So you got 33 die basically. Now let's take a look at the players on the world stage when it came to the OJ Simpson trial. Of course, this is Robert Kardashian and his well known daughter Kim, Chloe, and Courtney all together. This is, of course, before he passed away. People will get a better picture of how Kim made it, became so famous on the world stage in Hollywood. You would not make it on top of this world unless you are connected or you're a Freemason or connected to one. And of course, the first initials of all the daughters starts with the K, so you get K, which is 11 in the alphabet, so you get KKK, which is 33, with the highest degree in Freemasonry. Now, taking a look at Cato Kalin with his acting debut in the spotlight, he did prior movies, B grade movies, but again, he has acting experience. Perfect for the role in this trial. Taking a look, of course, at Marsha Clark, the prosecutor in the O.J. Simpson hoax. This is her role in a movie called Pretty Little Liars. How fitting. Just so happens, Christopher Darden, of course, in Hollywood as well, being an actor. One hot summer night. This is after, of course, the trial. Absolutely 100% guilty. Power of attorney. Interesting enough, it's not listed here. But he was in Jim Carrey's movie titled Liar, Liar. How fitting. And then here you have Gil Garcetti, of course. This is during the time of the trial itself. That hoax. And here he is today. He's making movies in Hollywood. What an amazing coincidence. Everybody involved with that phony sham OJ trial. They're in Hollywood. Now let's take a look at the occult with these deceivers. Here's Gil Garcetti. Doing the sign of silence. If anybody knows about Freemasonry, you'll know what this is about. All the puppets in the game, they do it. Let's take a look here. Going back in time, Barbara Bush, you have Obama, you have Charles Darwin, John Kerry, Hillary Clinton, Ozzy Osbourne, and the former press secretary for Obama. This is all about Freemasonry and about being on the inside and keeping your vow of not speaking, not talking about. The secrets that you're not supposed to reveal, of course. We're taking a look at more of these images here with Gil Garcetti and his son, who is the current mayor of L.A. Again, showing how you must be connected to make it to the top, just like Kim Kardashian. Now, another player in the game is Alan Dershowitz, of course, the defense attorney for O.J. with the sign of silence. Interesting enough, with the supposed passing of David Bowie in the album cover, The Secret Songs. How it all connects. How obvious can it be? Taking a look at MLK. Again, how obvious can it be? Another player in the game. And the men who hold high places must be the ones who 
start to mold a new reality closer to the heart closer to the heart Living out the American dream And I just realized that nothing Is what it seems 